this tutorial introduces you to the i enumerable interface and its practical significance to you as a developer after that we discuss the internal workings of this interface we demonstrate how the yield keyword can be used to return an i enumerable from a function the tutorial concludes with a c sharp program to efficiently print a fibonacci series by using the yield keyword and statement i enumerable interface is implemented by collections and arrays it signals the ability to provide its items one by one like a stream it supports a simple iteration by using a loop i enumerable interface implements a method called get enumerator that provides an enumerator for the collection this enumerator is another interface that provides the next element through the move next method and returns false when it reaches past the end of the collection it provides the current element through a, through a property called current a while loop keeps the move keeps the iterator moving each item is available in the current property and displayed using console write line this code is a roundabout way of looping through the elements but things are not that difficult in real practice a for each loop simplifies this iteration the code can be simplified a lot as you are seeing here a for each loop directly provides the item you must already be familiar with this code it hides a lot of code behind the scenes an i enumerable can be obtained from a function by using the yield keyword suppose we have to provide integers from a function as shown here this function returns an i enumerable but there are multiple yield statements each of which returns an int so this code might be confusing at first but it is a c sharp feature that successively returns that successively executes each yield return statement after each call to the get numbers function notice that all numbers are not returned in one step multiple calls are needed to stream the numbers this technique makes optimal use of both the processor and memory let me explain how the steps take place execution proceeds till the first yield statement the data is returned to the caller and execution is suspended the execution resumes at the next yield statement when the next iteration takes place when the next call takes place this sequence of suspend resume siphons out the numbers step by step and thus it optimizes the use of processor and memory a for each loop has been used to obtain the numbers one by one the series is step by step printed on the console the yield statement can be used to write a very readable program for printing a fibonacci series let us write a program to print the first 20 fibonacci numbers we have to write a function that returns an i enumerable of int numbers and uh, we have two variables first and second to hold consecutive numbers a for loop is then required to return 20 numbers one by one the sum of the first and second number is done first after that the values of uh, first and second are shifted as per the fibonacci series and finally the yield return statement returns the fibonacci number and this keeps on going till the for loop runs notice that the yield keyword makes the whole process readable intuitive and memory efficient at the same time and to run this program to call this function a for each loop makes the iteration calls and prints all the 20 numbers one by one thank you